Hey everyone, welcome to All Things SEO with Jay. Today's topic is if you should use underscore or hyphen in your URL for your website. So the main difference, um, I want to get into that, and I I want to also emphasize what those two, uh, why this is important, and some of the best practices of how to optimize your URL for SEO. So let's kind of define what URLs URL is. Wikipedia um, kind of tells you um, it's a reference to a web resource or web page. So if you have a, a website like Wikipedia, and then now if you go a little bit deeper, wiki and then URL, this is the URL of this page, which defines what this page is about. Uh, I guess it's pretty straightforward. Um, and the, what is a hyphen and what is a underscore? Here's an example of a hyphen URL and an underscore URL. So uh, to, to if you want to create a website, the best way to create URL structure is hyphen. And you could also... Uh, go into Google Cent Search Central, and uh, they also suggest hyphen, which is more useful. So it, it, they provide an example here. If an URL looks like this, uh, the, the readers won't be able to understand what that URL means. They have to look if this URL is for this page, uh, you want to kind of keep in line with the title um, and try to define the URL as much as possible so that the readers identify the URL with the page. So for here, Wikipedia Wiki Aviation URL, if you go to that page, you have... Um, a well-defined title, a well-defined URL, everything makes sense for the reader. If it's a bunch of gibberish uh, URL, it, it could kind of freak someone out uh, saying this might be, uh, I don't know what this page is about uh, unless they actually read it, read it. Or as a secured, people might not be, uh, they might be confused with these type of URL. So, uh, when you consider uh, creating URLs, make sure you go with um, hyphens. And if you don't use a hyphen, um, then you're not really separating these two words compared to using a hyphen. Also, if you use an underscore in your URL, uh, like this one, Google does not really understand if these are separate uh, is, is there to make it a separate word compared to a hyphen URL where this one will actually, if the bot actually reads this URL, he'll, they'll separate it as, as here is an example of hyphen URL. Uh, whether um, in this case, the underscore URL, it'll, it'll consider this as a one word URL. So that is really pretty much the main difference of uh the hyphen URLs and underscore URLs. Now to really optimize it, it's really to a point where we go back to the Wikipedia, what Wiki Aviation, they have, uh, here's a Wiki information uh, about aviation. So this is really trying to define what this page is. So when the bots read um, this URL, it'll say this is a wiki page and this is about aviation. Same thing here. This is an example doc uh, website and this is about a green dress. Um, underscore will say green dress. Um, you, if since you don't, you haven't separated these two words, uh, the bots will try to define what green dress is as a one word. And if it does not understand it, it might then try to interpret it if these are two words. And Google's smart enough to kind of identify that these two, uh, these one word is actually actually two word. 
but again, as best practice, you want to separate these words so that you could um, help Google understand the URL better. Uh, and we want to kind of focus on adding keywords versus uh, adding a whole title of the page. Uh, so here's an example of a URL. Wikipedia, the best at FIFA player. As an optimized URL, this is not the best practice. But if you want to optimize this, I would skip the word the and then the best FIFA men player. So if you're talking about multiple players, then you want to do a, a plural, plural players or the best FIFA men player in 2020 or uh, in um, whatever you want to kind of define uh, for this page. You want to kind of get uh, really define what this page is about in comparison to just kind of following uh, this structure. So if you use an apostrophe here, then in most cases, it will kind of separate that uh, by uh, an automation, like a, like a percentage, or it could uh, come across, uh, it might do an and symbol. And that is kind of confusing of what men and 27 underscore player means. So you want to um, make sure to not use that uh, though. So if it's a men's player, so you could use this instead of using an apostrophe. So men's player or men players. And this is how you really optimize uh, Euro. Let's kind of get into a little bit more uh, examples. So this is Google's development. Yeah, multiple layers of URL, but let's kind of go with uh, simplifying this. So uh, developerschool.com, guidelines, and URL structure. URL structure as a keyword. So as a keyword, I will be more inclined to define URL structure SEO versus uh, just a URL because you, you're not defining what a URL structure is, but you're really, def uh, this page is about uh, URL structure for SEO. So if you want to define this a lot better, then you want to type in URL structure SEO. So um, don't, don't take uh, less heart, I guess, uh, to, uh, and not plan how to define URLs, but really uh, help define the URLs for Google and for the user so that they, um, both of them can understand the actual uh, meaning of this page versus trying to identify um, what a URL structure uh, URL means. Be like I said here, if you type in URL structure, uh, in most cases, you're defining what a URL is. You're not really talking about the actual structure or what is the structure for. So the best URL structure for SEO, URL structure explained, your URL structure best practices. There are different types of intent for this keyword. So um, using this URL does not really make sense. And you want to really uh, do this one. And you could also create another page um, if you want to best practices so that you, you're able to rank for this keyword and also for this keyword. So best practices 
uh, mixture is also plural. So you want to really uh, pick the right keywords for your URL um, along with using a hyphen URL and not a underscore URL. I hope that it, that made sense for uh, what you should do, uh, which one you should decide if you if you should decide uh, decide to use hyphen or underscore. Uh, and uh, for example, for SaaS companies, uh, when they create dynamic pages or e-commerce pages, uh, you might come across example.com, uh, cart equals um, green dress dot HTML. So uh, if you're planning on creating uh, these type of uh, URLs dynam dynamically, uh, what I would suggest is trying to concise this a lot better uh, so that you could also make it better, but also if you need to define this better, you could also categorize this as men and or women, because guys don't wear dresses. So women apparel, and then this is how you can really define the URL uh, in comparison to just having um, this URL being generated. Um, again, I hope this um, tutorial made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, do leave a comment below. Um, and if you like this, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe. Until next time.